Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter number 6, and we're going to look at verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Before we get into verse 13, this, this verse is, is so clear that we are in a, a very, very real battle in this world and in our lives, in our individual lives. It is a fight, but it is not a physical fight. And, you know, you know that I do jujitsu, so you know that, you know, I, I, I love to wrestle around. <laughs> I love to, you know, uh, to roll. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's um, you know, I just, I just, I, I love to do that. But God is saying that your, your fight is not going to be in the physical realm. It's going to be in the spiritual. And in the spiritual realm, the way that you fight you're not fighting against flesh and blood, right? Um, but you're fighting against principalities, right? Against uh, powers and uh, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, all spiritual stuff and spiritual wickedness. Not just spiritual wickedness, but spiritual wickedness in high places, meaning meaning uh, positions of authority, positions of influence and power. Uh, you know, so, you know, another way really to say this, yes, it's a spiritual because there, there is a real spiritual world, uh, a spiritual dimension that we can't see where, where uh, you know, the angels and, de- and the demons live. I understand that. But also when it pertains to us in, in this particular verse, uh, as, you know, especially as it pertains to, to Christians, um, you know, battling, so to speak, spiritually for the Lord Jesus Christ, the battle is up here. It's, it's a spiritual battle is a mental battle, okay? Because this is what the demons are going to attack. It's your mind. They're going to try to dumb you down. They're going to try to numb your mind. They're going to try to uh, uh, des- sense- sensitize you to sin and, and make you uh, uh, accepting of wicked things. Um, and so it is an absolute mental battle, okay? That is the spiritual battle. It is a battle for your mind. We must not let them win. And then we go on here to uh, to verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. And you know that was talked about uh, a little bit, uh, or I don't talk about uh, in the following verses here, which we're not going to get into because we don't have time. But take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand you know, when my uh, son competed in, uh, in Las Vegas in that, that really big jiu-jitsu tournament, um, his, his opponent who uh, beat him by points was, uh, he, was, he, was he was very good, um, but also you can see he was, he was bigger than Logan and definitely stronger than Logan. Uh, you know, he was, he was beefier, and he, he was not only taller, but he was beefier than Logan. Logan looked, looked like a stick compared to him, you know. Um, and, you know, he did not submit Logan. Uh, in fact, he barely, uh, well, I guess it depends whose standards you look at, but, uh, but he scored four points really like in the last um, 30 to 60 seconds, you know, and that's how he was able to win, but he was never able to subdue Logan. And I must say, I was... Even though Logan didn't win that match, I was still very, very proud of him and the fight that he put up, uh, you know, and, and he uh, against a bigger opponent and a stronger opponent. Uh, um, and he even told me later, like, man, the guy was so strong. He was like overpowering me. And so I had to, you know, use my skill really to, to, to defend, uh, defend himself and, and not get submitted, uh, you know, and um, I was I was very proud of him. And let me tell you, in this spiritual battle of our lives on this earth, in your Christian walk, you are going to get attacked, okay? You are going to spiritually get attacked day after day after day, and and it will increase in intensity, especially the older you get. The devil's never gonna let up. His minions, they will never let up. They're not gonna say, oh, he's an old man. You know, we should just take it easy on him. No, no, they will, they will intensify it even more because they want to take you down. They want to conquer you. They want to control you. And here God is trying to warn us, 
Put on the armor of God, okay, which is found right here in the word of God, the whole armor of God. So, because uh, there is an evil day coming. And when that evil day comes, God says, I want you, when everything is said and done and, and the dust settles, I want to be able to see you still standing there because they were not able to take you down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh, it's a spiritual battle, which is a mental battle. So keep your mind strong. Keep your mind uh, full of the word of God and put on the whole armor of God so you can stand and withstand against the evil day. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. 